Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Imoshanko, D.H. Eng, J.V. Rao and Sukumar Party. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3, problem number 2.28. A right circular roller of weight W rests on a smooth horizontal plane and is held in position by an inclined bar AC as shown in the figure. Find the tension S in the bar AC and the vertical reaction RB at B if there is also a horizontal force P acting on it. That means a right circular roller of weight W is resting on a horizontal sur surface. Now it is held by a string AC. A horizontal force P is also acting like this. Now our interest is to find the reaction force developed at B and the tensile force developed in the string AC. Before solving the problem, let us recall the concept. If any system consisting of string, then the force is along the string and it is away from the support. Similarly, if any system is supported, a reaction force will develop and that reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and it is towards the body. With this concept, let us go to the solution of this problem. Clearly we can see the roller is supported at B. So here a reaction force will develop at point B and it is towards the body. Similarly, a, a tensile force will develop in string AC. When you are looking from point C, it is away from point C like this and when you, when you are looking from point A, it is away from point A like this. Let us discuss what are the various forces that are acting on circular roller. The first force is the reaction at B. Reaction at B, let us name it as RB and it is perpendicular to the support and it is towards the roller as shown here. Next, the applied force P, it is acting in a horizontal direction. Next, the self weight W, it is in the vertical direction. And the string force along AC and it is away from C because the string AC is in tension. In order to analyze this problem, let us transfer all those forces onto XY plane. Look at this, my dear students. The string AC makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. That means the force S makes an angle alpha with the horizontal as shown here. Now, I am also transferring all these forces. Before transferring, there are four forces acting on the system. But in order to apply the sign rule, the number of forces must be limited to three. Let us see how I can reduce these number of forces four into three. So the first force I am transferring P and the next force now the vertical force, there are two vertical forces. W is acting in the downward direction. RB is acting in the upward direction. Both are in the same line. So I can reduce these two forces into a single force as W minus RB with an assumption that initially W is more than RB. If both forces are acting in the same direction, I might have written that value as W plus RB. But now, both the forces are acting in the opposite direction. Hence, the resultant force of these two forces is W minus RB 
Since I am assuming that W is more than or B, the net force is downwards. So I can say it is W minus R B. So these two forces I converted into a single force like this. Next force is the tensile string S. And you know that makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. Clearly we can see the system is consisting of three forces. All three forces are meeting at a particular point and all three forces are divergent. Hence I can apply the sine rule. I prepared a separate video on sine rule. Please watch it from RK tutorials. Now by applying the concept of sine rule, now we can see the first force that is W minus RB force divided by sine of angle between the other two forces. What are the other two forces here? P and S. What is the angle between the P and S? Of course it is 180 plus alpha. So I can write the expression as W minus RB by sine 180 plus alpha. Similarly, P divided by angle between the other two forces that is S and W minus RB, this angle. How much is this angle? This angle I can write as 90 minus alpha. So the, I can write P by sine 90 minus alpha. S divided by angle between the other two forces P and 90 minus alpha that is 90. I can write the expression S by sine 90. Once, if you can write these, these expressions, I can find the required values. First, I am simplifying those values. W minus RB by sin 180 plus alpha, nothing but minus sin alpha. P by sin 90 minus alpha is nothing but cos alpha. And that is equal to sin 90 is 1. So, I can get the value of S. Now, just by equating these two, I can find S is equal to P by cos alpha or S is equal to P secant alpha. Similarly, you can take these two expressions. W minus RB by sin alpha, let me write here. W minus RB divided by minus sin alpha is equal to P by cos alpha. After simplifying, here you will get W minus RB is equal to minus P into sin alpha by cos alpha or you can say W minus RB is equal to minus P into tan alpha. From that, I can find my required value that is reaction at B, RB is equal to W plus P tan alpha. These two are the answers for the given problem. The the same problem you can also solve using the method of resolution. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of the resolution of a force. Please watch it from RK Tutorials. Now, these are the various forces that are acting on the cylinder roller. In which P is along x-axis, W is along y-axis, RB is also along y-axis. Only one force there, that is S, which is inclined force. So this force I can resolve along x-axis and y-axis. Let us see here. Now first I am transferring all these forces. Rb I am need not to resolve. Then force P need not to resolve. W need not to resolve. Now S I can resolve into horizontal component and vertical component. Now, the force S yes, makes an angle alpha with the horizontal, hence the horizontal component becomes S yes, cos alpha and the other component becomes sine component. Now, the horizontal component becomes S yes, cos alpha and the vertical component is S yes, sine alpha. Now, I can apply the resolution of F. Now I can apply the equilibrium conditions sigma fx is equal to 0. There are two forces that are acting along x-axis, P and S cos alpha. Let us consider this direction is my positive direction. Hence I can write P is equal to S cos alpha. Or I can say my required value S 
s is equal to p into secant alpha. Similarly, sigma fy is equal to 0. Let me consider the upward direction is positive. Then I can say Rb is upward force. Rb is equal to the downward forces W and S sin alpha. Rb is equal to W plus S sin alpha. You know very well already that S is equal to P secant alpha. You try to substitute there, then you will get Rb is equal to W plus P secant alpha into sin alpha. And then here you can consider as P into sin alpha divided by cos alpha because secant alpha is equal to 1 by cos alpha. Hence, I will get here P into tan alpha. So, the reaction force developed at point B, Rb is equal to W plus P tan, P tan alpha. Hence, these two are the answers for the given problem.